Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Greg Rebeck with Tucker Rocky Distributing. On this week's Wednesday with Greg, we want to talk to you a little bit about motorcycle electronics. Stators, regulator rectifiers, batteries, and voltmeters. Yeah, I had an unfortunate instance this weekend. I, I bought a bike just recently, hadn't taken it really anywhere and the charging system took a crap, left me stranded. Fortunately, it wasn't that far away from home. So essentially, Greg was riding down the road and his stator wasn't able to charge the battery. So the battery kept getting lower and lower as he started riding down the road and essentially, he doesn't know how to juice to power the motorcycle. Yeah, and that is preventable if you have a voltmeter on your bike so that you can see what's going on. This particular motorcycle that I have does not have a volt, it didn't have a voltmeter, now it does. Uh, but this voltmeter doesn't just tell you the volts, it also has more information that will assist you in having a better trip, like it'll tell you what time it is, it'll tell you the ambient temperature, it will tell you, you can use it as a stopwatch, clock, everything, it's pretty cool. So voltmeters are a great way to be able to monitor the motorcycle's charging system to see if you're charging appropriately. Now this can also help you when you're running other electronic devices such as a light bar, heated gear, heated grips, heated seats, a GPS, anything electric that you plug into your motorcycle really puts a drain on your system. Now what else have you done to this bike in order to help that or prevent that from happening in the future? Well, the, the particular manufacturer, I'm not going to mention their name, BMW, um, <laughs> this bike only put out 200 watts. Well, back in the day that might have been acceptable, but not anymore. So now I'm converting it to a 400 watt system um, that somebody invented because they knew this existed. And so now I'm going to have plenty of wattage to operate my heated grips if I put them on, my uh, electric liner, which I do use all the time, run my little voltmeter chingadera, um, and anything else I might want to use. Charging systems and batteries and regulators are truly dependent on each other to stay healthy. If you have a battery that is sketchy, it's been on the bike for five years or so, charging system is going to try and fix that. Mm -hmm. Well, it might overheat itself trying to fix that. Whereas if you had a, a up, to, up to charge battery, you know, current battery, it's, it's healthy, your charging system doesn't have to work so hard. And the poor little regulator is trying to deal with everything. Something's going <laughs> to die. And if one thing dies, guess what? The other ones are not far behind suspect something else might be going, check your system thoroughly or have somebody do it who knows what they're doing because you can just start chasing your tail all day fixing these things. Absolutely. Making sure that your system is up to snuff before you go out and hit the road is key to having a safe and pleasurable motorcycle experience. Very true. Thank you for watching this week's Wednesday with Greg. And ride safe. And well charged. Yeah.